folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's video. So today, folks, is a little different video and something I wanted to bring up uh, because it's kind of exciting. This is uh, today's uh, release of uh, X lights and what you can see here is this is the release notes now I usually don't do release note videos but this is kind of a special occasion so uh, I wanted to share with you a visual walkthrough of the newest version of X lights and not so much all of the enhancements but one of the major additions that has never been done before that we find really really interesting here at PPD so first of all I have to absolutely give a shout out to uh, Keith and the de development team because they absolutely have gone over the top they're working on adding in multiple language, uh, uh, different languages and so forth. Uh, so this would be the first version of X-Lite that's multilingual. And I believe Bruce did a lot of the work here. And uh, one of the things that, um, that they are starting with, because it's really the pilot stage of the whole project with going multilingual, is the Oz Lights. They're, gonna, they're going to uh, create the Oz version of uh, X Lights. So I have a feeling that we're going to, when we open this up, we're going to see a couple different uh, things in X Lights that we're not used to, maybe not visually. I, I'm sure the program pretty much looks exactly the same. But this is the first time I'm opening up, and I wanted to do a little walkthrough. Before that, this video is brought to you by the PPD Sequence Club. Join the club and receive a new x -Lite sequence each month. Also, gain access to exclusive x -Lite's preset effects and vendor discounts from our affiliates. Become a PPD Sequence Club member today and receive this month's featured sequence. This, uh... Let's just go ahead and open it up. And before we get started, I'd like to thank you all for becoming uh, 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 subscribers to the PPD uh, uh, channel here. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big red subscribe button. Make sure you hit like on our videos if you haven't done so. It helps bring a little bit more awareness to you. If you are on the YouTube platform, you do a lot of watching videos and stuff, then you'll see our videos come up. Also hit the uh, notification, the bell notification so that you're notified whenever we get a new video. So, um, here we've got looks like what's a brand new version of X lights. Now it doesn't look any major differently, but um, I do have uh, a couple new things that I see on the screen here. So uh, before I really go any further, I want to uh, uh, say a huge thank you to David Binstead who sent me, uh, Benny sent me these, uh, these two books. These are Aussie slang down under and we've got this other book here, Aussie phrases down under. And I'm going to use the combination between these two books to kind of help me look through a couple of the different um, uh, colloquialisms or the slang and so forth that we're going to be seeing. Maybe this, they just say things that are just a little bit different than what we say them here in uh, uh, the United States. But once again, this is a pilot test. We're, we're, we're real excited to see that x -Lights is branching out and doing other languages. So with that being said, uh, the first one I see here right away on the setup tab is send to the pool room. So um, uh, let's see if pool room is in one of my books here. You get to see how terrible my uh, American English is whenever I can't find things in alphabetical order. P-O-O-L. No pool room. So we're going to have to pull Google in on this one. And it looks like in Australian terms, it's uh, a repository for treasured objects. So, so yeah, it sounds like a man cave, definitely 100%. Send that to the man cave or send that to where your treasured stuff is. So anything that's really important that you, you want to keep. So that looks like uh, that's uh, the pool room. And send to the Garbo. I have a feeling that Garbo is garbage or, or trash or send everything to the gar Garbo uh, is probably trash. So let's go ahead over here. Looks like our save button is now set to the pool room. So when you save something that goes to the pool room. And that's kind of interesting. Next we have, let's see, let's see if there's anything different. Um, if we just do some selections here, we have reset, bulk edit, align, distribute, resize, wiring view, export, Oz lights model. Great. So if uh, you're in if you're in Oz, you s you can export an Oz lights model. Uh, create a mob. So what's a mob? I would say group is what we're looking for. M O B, cattle or sheep herd group of people. So. If we select, let's see if there's anything here. Oh, look, we can add mobs, we can delete mobs, we can rename mobs, uh, delete empty mobs. Okay, so so I guess in Oz, that's what we use is the word mob. These, I think a lot of these 
may be uh, tied in. I don't know that there's a lot of things. I know there's some things that won't change because inherently that it could break something in XSlice if you change the words around. Uh, can I go to view, uh, reset to default? And now that we've got the default preview set up, this is all the boxes that you would typically see, uh, minus one or two. One of the things that um, I have a feeling is not gonna happen is the word color may not change. And I believe the reason for that is the architecture of X lights is so engraved in uh, the coding that the word color must be spelled in the English form and not with the uh, Australian U, the C-O-L-O-R needs to be that way. So uh, I have a feeling that some of these won't be changed, but and, uh, why don't we just go ahead and create a new sequence. Um, uh, okay, so there's a tool tip. The tool tips are updated. Brand Spanker. Uh, I would say Brand Spanker might be, let's see, B for brand, B. Brand Spanker, B R. Not in that one. How about the phrases book? Benny, I'll tell you what, Benny, thanks for sending me these because I'm actually putting them to good use right now. So it looks like brand spanker means something fresh out of the box. So that's an interesting way of saying let's create a new sequence. Let's go ahead and do just an animation. Um, let's click 20 frames per second and we'll do quick start. One of the things here I see right on my screen here, my sequencing screen here, is this is the select effects box. So we've got the word uh, cooey. And let's go, let's go to the, uh, cooey is a shout used in Australia, used in the bush to attract attention to find missing people. So I guess that's where the hell are, are you way out there in the bush somewhere and you're calling for it. So that's, that's whenever you're, you're looking, that's your search button. Uh, we have a couple other things. Let's see. Give it a burl. Give it a burl. Give it a burl. Give it a burl. Attempt to do something. There we go. So we're gonna we're gonna attempt to do something when we hit the uh, uh, play button. So we have the posh, smoko, smoko, smoko. I'm probably saying everything wrong too. You all are gonna laugh at me. Smoko uh, is uh, smoko, smoke tea or coffee break. So give it a break means pause in Aussie. So there you go. Uh, knock off at clearly to me means stop so i bet you a lot of these have oh look there's castle preview so i guess i guess so we call our home in in oz we don't call it our home we call it our castle all right let's go through some of the menus so there's probably a couple things in the menus that might have changed there's uh oh look there's chucky yui so it looks like well even the arrow points is backwards so i would say chuck a yui chuck it in quit so Chuck a Yui, a U-turn would be to go back. I bet you that's what it is. So that's what you would say uh, in Australian slang there. Let's go back to the tool, uh, the edit menu. That That's not a knife, so that's the cut. Uh, and uh, clag. What's a clag? C-L. I'm right here. I happen to have the book right open to that. C-H. Clag would be bits of rubber that get thrown off the tires. That's interesting. But that's American slang. Clag. Um, oh, Australian glue. So glue. So if you're down under, you call it clag. You don't call it paste. You would call it clag. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Let's uh, let's go go uh, look through some of the others. Uh, audio. We've got a couple things here. Let's see. Uh, crank it up. Turn it up. Shh, and put a sock in it. I like that. I guess that's how you say that down there. Uh, all right. And let's go ahead and try. Um, I don't know. Let's throw something on here. On there's an on effect, and let's go and try um, saving. Let's see. We can click save, which give it a burl. That's I think we talked about that already. Well, well let's play. Let's go to save. Save looks like send to the pool room. Um, pretty much, pretty much we're going to the pool room on this one because we don't want to lose this on effect, right? Or how about this? How about we close down? How about we close the sequence? Um, export castle preview video. That's an interesting one. Um, knock off. Save sequence changes. 
Uh, please choose whether you would like to send it straight to the pool room or put it in the shitter or hit, yeah, nah, to return to the sequence. Okay, so we've got the pool room is saved. Put it in the shitter. No, well, I'm not saving the sequence, so if we put it in the shitter or, yeah, no, I don't want it. We'll hit, yeah, no. That means cancel. Yeah, no, don't do that. Let's go ahead and knock it off again and put it in the shitter. So, well, folks, that's going to wrap it up for me here at Pixel Pro Displays. Remember, if you haven't done yet, so please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the like button for the video if you liked it. Remember to hit the bell for notifications. And also, if you haven't headed over and signed up for the PPD Sequence Club yet, join the club now. You get one free sequence with your membership for each month. You also get... You also get access to the hot vendor deals that are available from over 10 different vendors that give great discounts to pixels, pixel controller builds, uh, full controller builds. That is, if you don't want to build your own controller, we have people that will do it for you for even less than what they sell on their website. And not only that, but also the pixel vendors, the vendors such as uh, Scott LED, we have... Uh, uh, Crock of Fantasy of Lights, Ken over at Wired Watts, as well as uh, Pixelsequencing.com, who has a huge offer for everybody as well. So, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And don't